iRock Radio, the world headquarters of rock, Shattered Sun in Studio 64. Great and job. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Music sounds good. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. A lot of the Mayhem bands sing about, you know, anger and alien- alienation and things like that. What would you say that Shattered Sun's music comes from? Uh, I'd say it's, you know, the opposite. And, you know, we don't we don't knock the bands that do that. You know, everybody does their thing and they do it well. You know what I mean? But our our thing is, you know, going on the hope side of things, having hope in humanity and having hope in the future. You know what I mean? And I feel that's a message that's really lost, especially in today's youth. You know what I mean? I feel like today's youth is so easy to sit back and, and, you know, not have a voice and let somebody else do it. And, you know, that's, that's what's wrong with, you know, today's society. You know what I mean? So this, this album kind of has, you know, a message of having hope in yourself and having hope in the future. You know what I mean? And how do you find the audience? Not that it's all about mayhem. That's just a mm-hmm. reference. But a mayhem crowd or a, you know, a, a metal crowd. How do you find them responding to your lyrics? Well, uh, we definitely don't try and shove our message down anyone's throat. You know what I mean? We go out there with, you know, the kind of how let's have a good time mentality. You know, we go out with a couple beers and, you know, we want to do what the fans do. You know what I mean? Show them that we're there to set the tone and, you know, have a good time. And, you know, I, I, th- I think we've been getting a great response. You know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of the fans have been coming up and telling us how much the, the lyrics mean and how much the album means to them. And it's awesome, man. It's awesome to see it take life. You know what I mean? For sure. It is refreshing to see uh, bands like yourself. I mean, newer bands. Uh, on tours like Mayhem, mm. I mean, uh, you guys get slagged a lot. Mayhem tours get slagged a lot, oh, as yeah. you know. Yeah, it's refreshing to see you guys take advantage of these situations and make the best of them. And it looks like you're really enjoying yourself on Mayhem, having a good time, spreading your message. Mm. I mean, so it's it's really refreshing and it's it's really nice to see. Oh yeah, definitely. I I see you know what goes on in the media and all the things that have been said about Mayhem, and I honestly feel that's coming from people that are sitting behind a keyboard that probably haven't been to a concert in two years, you know what I mean? But they're so quick to judge them. But you know what I mean? Like you said, us and, and all the other bands, we're taking advantage of it and you know, we're making a name for ourselves. And it's, it's awesome because what Mayhem is doing, this is, you know, the new wave. And, you know, hopefully one day we'll be the headliners, you know what I mean? So you're pulling up the bands you know what I mean, to start this new wave of metal, and it's all about keeping metal alive, you know what I mean? It's not bad on your resume when you say, oh, yeah, we toured with Slayer, by the way, just so (laughs) you know. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, we've we've been blessed to have uh, great tour opportunities, you know what I mean? Our first national tour, we went out with Testament and Exodus, then we did, uh, you know, the Mayhem Fest, we're doing that right now. Right afterwards, we're going to go out with uh, Soulfly Soil Work and Decapitated for We Sold Our Souls to Metal Tour. So, you know what I mean? We're, We're very blessed, you know, to be you know, rubbing elbows with people that we vitalized growing up, you know? That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, what's the uh, second song you're going to do for us? This next song we're going to do is, uh, it's 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 a different one, and if you listen to the album, it's probably the one song that catches you, you know, off guard. We went in, you know, trying to write an acoustic song, but we didn't want to write, you know, the sappy ballad, <laughs> you know? We wanted to write something a little bit more musical, so something that meant something to us, and, you know, it's called 281, and it's a highway in South Texas, and it's kind of like every time we're going home from tour, you know, once we get into San Antonio, we see that South 281 sign, and it's just like <laughs> two hours in your home, you know what I mean? And, you know, there's no there's no better feeling than coming home, so that's what I wrote this song about. It's called 281. This is Shattered Sun on iRock Radio from Studio 64. <laughs> 